Hi, Shatakai has just released this year's fall collection and I got all four products. Three lip veil lipsticks and one palette with three eyeshadows. So if you are interested and curious about these products, just keep on watching because I'm going to show you how I achieved this look using the palette and I'm going to apply on me all three lipsticks and swatch them with some others that I have from Shantakai in my collection. The theme of this collection is the African landscapes at sunset and the taupey shades of the elephants. And to me, at least, I think the aesthetic of it is a very understated but defined look in the eyes, with the main focus being on the lips, with the three shades that I'm going to show you. And if you already saw one of my videos before, you are probably aware that I'm a very big fan of Shantakai products, especially their lip veils and their lip cheeks. Without further ado, let's start with the lipsticks, shall we? So, as I said in the beginning, these three new lipsticks are lip veils, which means that they are pigmented, satin, creamy and extremely hydrating on account of the Baobab oil that is part of the ingredient lists. One thing that is important for me to say regarding the lipsticks is that they are fragrance and taste-free, so that is indeed very good news. The traditional packaging of the lip veils is this dark blue and because this is a limited edition they chose to change the color of the outside component in order to reflect the color of the lipstick inside. So I'm going to start with the lightest one, this, which is called Plumeria and this is a medium tone pink leaning on the cooler side. Plumeria. Shantakai says that this is a cool plum. Honestly, for me, it's a cool pick. <laughs> but what do you think? I'm going now to apply the second one, and this is called Acacia, and it's described as a tawny rose. And this is certainly the most wearable of the three. It's like a deep muted rose tone and it's practically the color of my lips. And the last one, which I'm very curious about, is called Tamarind and it's described as a warm cinnamon brown and it definitely looks like it. So, let's see. So this is Tamarind and this is probably my favorite of all three, although followed quite closely by the Acacia one. Although I don't like particularly to see myself in brown lipsticks, I have to say that I like this one. It's very unusual amongst the other shades from the lip veils and it's not as dark that becomes too heavy. And I definitely associate them with the shades of these lipsticks are muted and I definitely see the connection with the safari idea and they will be perfect for fall and winter where we traditionally use more browns and plums and deeper hearse shades. Very pretty. And of course, as I said, the lip veils are amongst my top five lipstick formula. They are extremely comfortable and hydrating without losing on the pigmentation. And also a part of the profit that Shantakai has with them is given to the foundation Space for Giants, which is a non-profit organization in Kenya, which supports the environment where the elephants live and also the 
populations around. So I feel that when I'm getting one of these tubes of happiness, I'm contributing a little bit for the elephants. I swatch them three as well as the three lightest shades and I'm going to place the photos right now for you to check them out. Let's go now to the eyeshadow trio. It comes in this beautiful packaging with a very large photograph of an elephant and inside the palette looks like this. It has a full-size mirror and a small Shantakai brush here and it's similar to other previous releases. For instance this one, this was released in order to support the Western organization to help wild wolves and the eyeshadows come with a beautiful imprint of an elephant and this sparkly area of the elephant it's actually an overspray if you pass the, the brush or your finger this overspray will come out which I'm not going to do because I want to preserve it as much as possible with the, the shiny elephant the eyeshadow shadows are very pigmented, very soft, very easy to blend and they have a mixture from the complete matte until the most shimmery. The red brownish one is in the middle, just a tiny amount of shimmer. I'm going to swatch it now for you to see how it looks. For the look that I have, I used all the three shades, but honestly I think that this palette is really suitable to do that kind of look just with one eyeshadow using the gold afterwards to liven up the inside corner and the area beneath the brow. And if you use two eyeshadows to do a look, then you have a cooler one and a warmer one. As I said previously, you will achieve a very natural and restated look with this eyeshadow palette, perfect for everyday use. And I'm totally sure that if you like Shantikai eyeshadows, you will not be disappointed. I'm going to show you now how I achieve this this look. First I'm going to apply a little bit of this gold eyeshadow here on the brow bone very lightly and here on the inside corner. I had already placed a little bit of concealer in my eyelid and now I'm going to use a large shader and pick up the taupe eyeshadow and press it all over the lid. And I could keep it like this, just for a soft definition on my eye, but I'm going to apply a little bit of this reddish brown here on the outside corner. And into the crease, just for extra definition. And a little bit on the bottom eyelashes as well. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of brown eyeliner, mascara and I'll be right back. So this is how it looks when I and now on both eyes I've place the eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame which is a reddish brown as well in my top and bottom eyelashes just close to the root and then I buffed it with the reddish brown brush and I'm wearing the new mascara from Charlotte Tilbury as well the push-up lashes and I will do a review on this one in my next video Needless to say, I really enjoy this collection. It's always a pleasure for me to look at the Shantikai products. They are always seamless, always extremely sought out and wonderfully made. All the products are beautiful, but if you ask me, you know, my favorites are always the lipsticks. 
just because I'm a lipstick addict. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, I hope you have enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I want to thank all of you that supported me in this journey since the beginning, since last year. It has been a very enjoyable and sometimes very curious experience and I intend to continue with it. To celebrate this achievement with you, I would like to make a giveaway of this palette. It's a completely new one from Shantakai to one of you that has subscribed to my channel that I will randomly select. You just need to leave on the comment below your um, Instagram handle and I will get in contact with you and ship it internationally if needed be. I will do the random selection next Saturday and in the video afterwards I will announce to whom did I send it if that person doesn't mind to be mentioned in the YouTube video of course. And this is it for this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you very much for having spent this time with me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, bye!